Fairgrounds, musicians, traditional wrestlers, and motorcycle acrobats delight pilgrims lit by talents of all colors, but always under the watchful eye of hundreds of police officers. Centuries old Sufi orders across the Islamic world have millions of followers from Turkey to South Asia, and their beliefs are rooted in mysticism and a devotion to saints. Many Orthodox Adliners consider Sufi beliefs heretical, however, and Sunni militant grounds such as the Pakistan Taliban and Islamic State have carried out bloody attacks at shrines and festivals. In Pakistan, the attacks led authorities to ban festivals or limit their activities until recently. Security has dramatically improved after several military operations, allowing celebrations to slowly return. The event was shortened from five days to three, with mobile phone signals suspended for security reasons. The landscape of rural Pakistan is adorned with thousands of Sufi shrines, varying in size from grand edifices to modern structures, each steeped in a tapestry of associated legends. Particularly in Punjab and Sindh, saints commonly referred to as peers are revered and miracle attributed to their spiritual presence. The annual celebrations commemorate the anniversary of saints' death and symbolize the spiritual union between devotees and the divine. Sufism has inspired some of the Pakistan's most beloved artists, writers, and musicians. Sufi shrines often attract marginalized grounds, including transgender women and drug addicts. At the Shah Jiwan Shrine, devotion gives way to entertainment in the late afternoon. A Jewish sailor belts out a famous Punjabi song, Forget about your responsibilities for a while, let's head to the fair instead. Thousands turn to the fields to witness traditional games such as Kabaddi, a rough contact sport where opponents slap each other around the face and tent paging a more graceful display of horsemanship. Reporting for Mwanzo TV, I'm Kasi Mwanjiro.